Hello Foamers, this is Divyashwarya, welcome back to DD Fluids. In this video tutorial, we will see how to create multiple blocks in our blockmistic file. So let's say sometimes you don't have a simple geometry like a simple hexagonal cubical block. In such case, uh, you need to create multiple blocks. Uh, for, an, uh, for an example, let's say you have a l shape geometry or t shape geometry as you can see on the screen in this case we cannot use one single block to define all the vertices because here we have more than eight vertices involved if you look at the corners you will see more than eight corners in this block so we need to define uh, more than eight vertices and more than one block so in such cases we need to do some uh, changes in our blockmistic file so we will see how to create this l uh, t shape geometry in uh, blockmistic file using a very simple basic cavity case tutorial okay so first let's open the terminal so here I am using WSL and let's navigate to our run folder. So I'll type run and hit enter. Now let's copy the cavity case. So for that I'm going to type cp space hyphen r dollar foam underscore tutorials and incompressible cap ico foam then cavity and again cavity space dot and enter so that will copy our uh, cavity folder or cavity case into our run folder now let's go into that uh, directory cd space cavity and if i type ls as you can see we have zero constant and system three basic open form directory and by the time you might be uh, familiar with the uh, case structure folder structure and you know that we have system folder and in that system folder our block dictionary is defined so let's open the block file in notepad notepad then system then block So here we have a uh, first header, then the scale, then we have vertices, blocks, edges, boundaries. All these uh, entries are already available for our uh, cavity folder, cavity case. So we will start modifying this file and we will create this simple geometry uh, a t-shape geometry uh, using this file okay so first let me define all these vertices uh, let's let me give numbers to all these vertices so i'll hit tab then i'll give this as a v0 and let's copy it So here I'll give it one. So same way two. So as you can see, we have eight vertices, and uh, it starts from zero, of course, uh, and uh, ends with number seven now you can add any extra line in here but uh, for that you need to give this uh, double slash so it will say that it's a it's a comment after all this uh, whatever we have written is comment 
so it will not count in our block metric while executing the command so this is the basic file we have now we need to divide our domain the t shaped domain into uh, small cubes so this is not the discretization it's not the meshing that we are talking about it's about uh, splitting the domain into different parts so to split this uh, entire domain t shaped domain we can split it into two different ways the first one is we uh, split into four blocks so as you can see on the screen we have four blocks then the second option is we can split the bottom portion and the top portion so there will be only two blocks now um, the in this tutorial we will see the first option wherein we are going to split our domain into four different blocks the the second option i am going to cover in our uh, in the uh, merge patch pair section so you can watch that tutorial separately how can you do that in there so now we have four blocks as you can see on the screen the block zero is the center block that we uh, we already have defined in here so this block will be the block number zero and then we will add block number one in the left hand side then block number two on the right hand side and we will add one more block on the top side so total we will have four blocks now let us start from block number zero so this block number zero is the the basic block that we have if you if you can see on the screen we have uh, 0 to 7 vertices and all these vertices numbers are already defined in the vertices section and we have already uh, defined the block into the block section now we will define uh, extra points extra vertices to define the second block and the second block we will add on the left hand side so the geometry will look something like this and here we are going to add four more points and these four points are point number nine eight nine ten and eleven so let's uh, start with copying a, a vertex so i'm gonna give extra Space. so here i'll add number eight and the size is the location of number eight is minus one zero zero and for number nine we will add minus one one and zero So I have defined the four extra vertices that will uh, that will help us in defining block number one. So these four vertices you can uh, pause the tutorial and you can uh, cross verify in your block metric file. So after defining these four points, we will go into the block section and we will add one more block. Okay. So let me copy this, paste it here, right below that. And here we will modify this section, the hex section. 
okay so we started in the previous block we started with 0 1 2 3 and we uh, first define the back phase and then the first phase so we will use same uh, convention here so i'll start with defining uh, back phase for block number one so the first vertex is number eight then i'll move on the right hand side so that's number zero then i'll move forward on the uh, top side so it's number three and then number nine now for the front face i'll type 10 then 4 then 7 and then 11 so this way we have defined the vertices and blocks for both the blocks 0 and 1 save the file and go back close the file and go back to the terminal let's type block mesh let's see what happens so it is saying that it's uh, there is an error and the error is in the uh, boundary phase the reason is we have defined a uh, internal phase in our uh, geometry and that's not acceptable so let me again open our file the block mystic file okay so for now what we can do is uh, we can uh, comment entire section the boundary section and we will take care of it uh, later so let me comment all the files all the lines or in the boundary layer boundary section so i'll type slash star and wherever we want to end this comment we can type star and then slash let's save file again go back to terminal and type block mesh so this time it executed the the case perfectly and if I want to see my uh, results, all I can do is uh, create a dummy file, touch space case dot form explorer, and from here I can open my case into the para view. Uh, let's hit on apply button so as you can see on the screen we have rectangular geometry and if i uh, change orient uh, view to solid colors with uh, surface with edges we can see the structure wherein we have 40 cells in the x direction and 20 cells in the y direction now let's go and from this properties panel you can check this access grid and you will be able to see the results it started with minus 0 0.1 and ending at 0 0.1 so that's the domain that we have created the cavity one was from the center to right hand side and we have added one more block in the left hand side okay again let's go back to the uh, block mystic file now here after defining the left hand side block we can now move on to the right hand side so we will again uh, define vertices for that again we need to define four more vertices let's copy the entire uh, 8 9 10 11 vertex and here let's modify the vertices so number 12 will become 200 here it will become 210 
here it will become 20.1 and here it will become 21.1 uh, number will be 12 13 14 and 15 now we have defined four vertex extra vertex that we want for block number two again we need to copy this uh, block section and paste it right below that now here we need we will give uh, hexagonal numbers for blocks so the first vertex will become 1 then 12 then 13 then 2 same way for the front face we will start from 5 14 15 and 6 so this way we can create third block Again, go back to the terminal, type block mesh, hit enter, go to the para view, reload this file, and as you can see, we got third block right on the right hand side. So now our geometry becomes minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 so that way we have created three blocks and now the time uh, same way we can add the top block okay now here again i'll copy these four points and i'll modify number 16 17 uh, 18 and 19 so 16 will become 120 then 17 become 020 then 18 become 120.1 And again, this will become 0 to 0 0.1. Let me modify the numbers for our convenience. So we we finished defining all the vertices. Now let's again copy the block and paste it right below that. Again, let's modify this block, the last one. Again, I'll start from the lower bottom, lower left uh, corner. I'll start with number 3, then 2, then number 16, then number 17, then number 7, 6, 18, and 19. Let's save the file and let's compile it again so in this blocks para view let me reload this file and as you can see we have now t-shaped geometry uh one thing i'm not sure if you have noticed or not uh, we have exact same uh expansion or all the cells are matching in each cells now if i change anything in uh, any of this block it will throw an error for example let's say for the block number three i will change number of cells from 20 to 10 in the x direction so uh, it it should not match in the uh, in the particular direction for number zero and number three so let's see what what happens so when we uh, compile this it will show an error that subdivisions the mesh that we have done so that subdivision 
is mismatching between face number 3 of block 0 and face 2 of block number 3 so it is saying that the subdivision cells are not matching for block number 0 and block number 3 so we need to change it and we need to match it uh, again so I am matching it but in the z direction we can change it for block number 0 and 3 let me show you I am changing it for block number 3 and I'll make it 10 and now if I'll compile this it successfully compiled and if I uh, reload this file as you can see now we we don't have exit square for block number 3 and we have uh, rectangular blocks in the top block so that that we can change so it it should match uh, all the vertices in each direction if it's not matching in blockmatic file it will show an error okay now let me again change it to 20 go back to the uh, terminal let's type block mesh hit enter again reload this file and we have this fine geometry of T shape now there are few things that uh, that you need to know when we divide our geometry like this in uh, in four blocks so for each direction it should be a uh, it should be divided and there is no uh, matching faces so there is no faces are overlapping on each other in that case we don't need to define internal um, faces so it will automatically take the internal faces and uh, it will say that uh, the entire geometry is a uh, is connected to each other and for uh, for this kind of case we don't need to uh, add anything into merge patch pair section so that way we can define uh, we don't really need to define internal faces but yeah we can uh, separately define boundaries for each outer face and that we can do the same way I have explained in the uh, previous tutorials previous block mesh tutorials so you can watch uh, those tutorials and you can define this uh, outer uh, faces um, you can give any name of your choice there is also a convention so you 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 must watch that tutorial before starting defining these boundaries in the next tutorial we will see how to create a, a same geometry using two blocks but here we will uh, see uh, we'll have to add one more um, section here and that's merge patch pair so we will say we will see that in that tutorial how to uh, define such blocks uh, in a simple way with merge patch pair so if you are looking for more video tutorials uh, you can join uh, our telegram channel you can also subscribe to this youtube channel you can follow me on this uh, social media platforms with this stay healthy stay fit see you in the next video